Thanks so much for joining us. West Virginia's hotly debated education reform bill is changing once again. The bill has bounced back and forth in capital committees like a tennis ball during a match, but now we are nearing a final vote. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has more from the Capitol. As school children toured the Capitol, lawmakers were making decisions that could affect the future of education in the Mountain State. The House Finance Committee held late night and early morning meetings and eventually went back to the House Education Committee's recommendation to remove education savings accounts from the bill and cap the number of charter schools in the state at just two. But all this could be changed again. And I persuaded them that I thought that this would probably be the best decision that we could make right now. And, uh, you know, the bill advances and, you, and it lives another day. I'm here to represent the folks who voted for me and overwhelmingly 90 percent to 10 percent. I'm hearing from home that they don't want charter schools. <laughs> What remains in the bill is another 5% pay raise for teachers and school staff, just as they received after last year's statewide strike, and a promised fix to their health insurance. We're given a uh, number in, in the first time in the history of our state, the first, I mean, these last two years, we're given some of the biggest pay raises. Outside the House floor, one of the teachers' unions set up a table to lobby lawmakers. Leaders are pleased the charter schools are again limited to just two. We want to have the real input from our teachers, our principals, our superintendents, and our parents. So at this point, two is better than five, two is better than six, so it's better than it was. Unions are still working to maintain teacher seniority. The entire House will vote on the education reform bill sometime late this week. Then it's back to the Senate for consideration there. At the state capitol in Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. And as of now, the best estimate that the education bill will come to a final vote in the House of Delegates is Thursday. But that's the same day that amendments will be allowed and the debate could stretch well into the evening.